Hi my beauties, welcome back and welcome to my channel if you're new. I know I look like I've been hit by a train, I'm tired and I have my best friend visiting me. Can you see? Can you see it? My best friend always there. <laughs> Today I'm here to uh, review and try the new Isadora Active All Day Wear Makeup 24 Hours. This has just been released, it said sweat and humidity proof, fragrance free, clinically clinically tested active all day wear makeup for 24 hours sweat proof humidity proof long lasting 24 hours all oil free for all skin types this is promising a lot and i'm here to review it i did uh, buy the number 16 warm beige i think it's a little bit too dark for me but we are going there it's very hard to see the swatches and the shades online and it's not I don't know if it's available in stores right now, but it wasn't when I was ordering it for a week ago. And I also am going to try the new Isadora Light Up Brightening Cushion Concealer. And this is in shade O2 Nude. So I'm here to review this. And if you're interested to see how it's going to wear on my combo skin, then please keep on watching. So I already primed my face and I used this Lancome Prep and Matte Primer that I really, really like. So I'm going to go in here. It's a pump. It's a beautiful pump. I think this packaging is stunning. So I'm going to see how it's, how thick it is. Come on, come on. There you go. Come on. Oh, spit it out. It's kind of. I don't like the pump, but it's kind of liquidy and it's a little bit darker than my skin tone, but we are going with that. I'm going to try to apply it with a brush and then we are going to apply it with this beauty sponge. Let's see. I'm confused. Where to start? Oh, well, oh my God. This is a lot of coverage, I can say. Oh, it's applying beautiful. It has a strange smell. I'm stressed, so my skin is reacting with breakouts. Uh, this has a nice coverage. I think it's medium coverage more than, but it looks so nice. It looks my skin. I love how it's applied with a brush, but it's very liquidy, so it's kind of running, running from my hand. Look, it's running away. So I'm, I am in a hurry. I have like a, maybe 20 minutes to get ready before I get some guests here. So I'll try to do this fast. But this is blending beautifully and it looks like my skin. Really, it looks like my sin, skin. And the color, it's not actually bad. I hope it doesn't oxidize, then it will get darker. But I'm not mad at it right now. Let's see how it's going on with a beauty sponge. I'll need more of the foundation oh no i don't like the pump it's spitting out foundation everywhere i love the packaging but i have foundation everywhere on my desk right now so unnecessary let's see how is it going on with the sponge it feels like it oxidized a little bit but not too much so i hope it won't get worse but for some reason, all foundation oxidizes on my skin. It's blending very fast. I mean, in a couple of seconds. I kind of like how it applied with a brush more than a, with a beauty blender. I think it got more coverage. So I am going to build it up a little bit more. I feel like I did use quite a lot of the foundation. But I will see how it's going to build up. And of course, I'm going in with my brush. It's medium coverage. And it's building up nice. I can see, still see my best friend. Hi there. I missed you. Not. So I'm going over just to blend everything. So even seamless with the sponge without more foundation. Uh, this, I don't feel foundation at all on my skin and I have quite a lot of foundation. And it looks so beautiful. I'm trying out a lot of foundation recently. Huda Beauty, uh, Hourglass, 
I think about also the Nip and Fab Foundation and now that review is coming up and now this foundation <laughs> and this is looking stunning guys this is looking stunning I want to zoom you in so you can see a little bit more how it looks on my skin it looks so nice and even I really like this foundation right now. I hope it will stay like this the whole day. Love the packaging, hate the pump. It's spitting out foundation everywhere. So I'm going in with um, the concealer. So it's... Oh, <laughs> there you go. So it's open like this. I like the packaging too. It looks... Um, I, I, I think they kind of upgraded the packaging. Let's... I like the packaging, I think. Twist, 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 twist. Oh, there you go. That was fast. This is very light. I need to twist more. Uh, it feels like light carriage, fragrance free. I'm not liking the applicator. It looks like it's going to be light coverage, but let's see. I like more, more um, full coverage of the concealer. Oh, you need to work fast with this one, though. Dries down very fast. Too fast, too fast. I need to go in more with some more under my eyes. I feel like this concealer is more for brightening up under 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 the eyes than it is for covering dark circles. So I am uh, actually going in with another one because I do need something to because I do want to cover my dark circles today because I am tired so I'm going on in with a little bit of the NARS just popping up there so I'm going to set everything right now and I'm going to use the Huda Beauty powder because I doing that with all of the foundations that I'm trying out I'm going to bake for a minute under my eyes just for a minute and then I'm going to buff powder into the skin doing this lately and i'm loving how it's keeping my oil oils in control the most part of the day and then i want to go in with this hourglass palette just to set a little bit more i'm going to go in this powder here because it looks like it this is a matte foundation so i want to not make it glowy but make it look more nice so not too much just a little bit okay i'll do rest of my makeup and i'll be right back before i do that i just want to show you that it's currently just around 11 one o'clock 1 15 and i'll be right back when i finish the rest of my makeup so guys the rest of my makeup is done now it's not the the foundation looks amazing let me just start there uh, this foundation looks like my skin, but better. My skin, but better. And I'm not mad at the shade. Maybe just a little bit darker, but I'm not mad at all. But the concealer, mm, it is lightning. So if you think you're going to conceal, if you dark, have dark circles or puffiness or some uh, miscoloration under your eyes, this is not going to cover it though it's beautiful for lighting up the under eyes if you can see there is it's so light so i went a little bit too hard with this one but it's good i'm going to see how it's going to work the whole day how it's going to stay on my face three minutes past one and i'm going to keep this on as long as i can on my eyes i have the best eyeshadow palette ever for fall i love this eyeshadow palette and yeah, 
that is for now i'll see you in a couple of hours i know my hair is still look messy but this is how it looks but my skin looks beautiful my face looks nice so i'm very excited and my friend is there we are going to hang out together today and we too will be back to give you full thoughts in a couple of hours see you soon hi everyone welcome back now let me take off my glasses and this is how I look. Right now it's almost nine o'clock and I've been having this foundation for around seven, eight hours. And I really want to wait or I wanted to wait more until I do the la the this check-in, but I'm so tired. I really just want to take off my makeup, watch some Netflix and sleep. <laughs> I'm very tired. So this is how everything looks after seven, eight hours. I haven't touched up at all, not even once. I've been touching my face all the time because I was sneezing and I think I'm getting a cold. But this is how the foundation hold up. Okay, uh, this foundation. Isadora Active All Day Wear Makeup. Okay, I'll be now. It's very bad weather. It's very windy and cold. And I was uh, cooking a lot and when I opened my oven, the heat just hit me a couple of times, so I thought that would definitely get oily. But this is how it looks. It looks a little bit shiny, but not at all like other foundations make me do after this long. I'm really surprised how this holds up. Everything is there. My bronzer, my blush, my highlighter, even my eye makeup is there. Everything except the lipstick or lip gloss that I had before, of course. Even my best friend is covered a little bit still. And usually, usually doesn't matter which foundation I have, always where I have my breakouts, the foundation wears off. And I don't really know why is that. I know, I know I'm not touching any breakout that I have, or try not to touch when I have makeup. But for some reason, the foundation and everything just disappears on those areas where I have breakouts. I don't know if that's only with me, my skin. I know my skin is very strange, but this is what happens to me. But really, this looks so, so good. I'm so happy. This foundation looks great. And let me say, though, the concealer, light up, light up concealer, brightening cushion concealer. Like I said, this is not a concealer for hiding your dark circles or uh, discoloration under your eyes. This is for brightening. It doesn't really have that coverage that I would like my uh, concealer to have. But this uh, brightened up my under eye area very, very good, if you can see. But it dries so, so fast. It really dries down fast. So work fast with this one but I really like it really like it for brightening under my uh, my under or uh, my under eyes the foundation is still on my chin it's still on my nose it didn't settle into my fine lines it looks like my skin but better this is really the best drugstore foundation that I've ever tried for my combo skin let me just try to take off some of the oiliness to see if we are going to get any foundation on and I'm pressing it and this is the result so there is just a little bit of the foundation that was removed but oh my god how this looks <laughs> this looks even better than when I applied it for eight hours ago. Do you know what, guys? I just found my favorite foundation ever. This is the best foundation ever. It looks so nice, so smooth. It looks like my skin, but better. I like it. I really like it. Though I do have just a little bit too dark foundation for me, but I will definitely mix it with Another foundation that I was trying out that I kind of like. So I do have, uh, I do prefer when it's a little bit darker, 
but if I would like it to be a more uh, uh, light, I can definitely mix it with some, j just a drop or two with other foundations. I will definitely continue using it. 24 hours wear, I'm not really sure if I will wear it 24 hours, but if I really need my foundation to stay on that long, I will definitely try this one because I do love my Estee Lauder Double Wear. That's my holy grail. But it feels like uh, this one is going to replace it. I know. I know. I know. I know what I said. But actually, this looks stunning. This looks stunning. Okay, I will stop. So yes, for me, Isadora, you nailed it. I love it. So guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. It's, it's going to be more reviews of different foundation on my channel. So, so stay on my channel for that. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. So you know every time I upload, I upload three videos a week. Every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And guys, thank you so much for being here and giving me so, so much love. I really appreciate it. I read your comments. I try to answer... <laughs> when I have time, but I'm so grateful for everyone that what that is watching my videos, for everyone that is subscribing and supporting me. Mwah. I love you guys. Thank you so much and I hope I see you in my next video. Bye!